Okay, Scott, this video is for you to avoid a bunch of confusing text messaging. I was thinking about how I'm going to flush those lines out of my car, fuel line, trans cooler loop, and oil cooler loop. And uh, I think it might be simpler than I thought being an HVAC guy. So this right here is a kit we use to flush line sets. Uh, we use a chemical, I don't know what the hell it is, to flush old line sets that have the old refrigerant R22 and prepare them for the new 410A and basically it uses what I consider to be fancy brake clean um, and it's liquid. You just fill this canister with the liquid and then you hook this end up to your compressed air source which for us is always a portable tank of nitrogen with a regulator and then you can regulate it down to whatever you want but in the end this gets jammed into the copper line set and you just hit the trigger eventually the nitrogen takes all of the chemical out of this bottle and you're blowing strictly air now typically we pull an evacuation on the unit after we pressure test it and cipher you know cycle nitrogen through there or air i'm assuming i could use this kit to fill it with some kind of cleaning solvent i.e parts cleaner i mean it probably doesn't take much per system i probably only have to put a few ounces in i'm not going to fill the bottle necessarily or maybe half the bottle and i can just send this through the lines in one end with this a rubber stopper into my female an fitting and out the other end into a bucket if i wanted and i can rig a hose even though this is a different port i'm sure i can rig a hose with a barb fitting to run off my compressor of 80 gallons instead of my nitrogen bottle that'll theoretically run out quicker and I can add more pressure but it does have a blow off so it will only let you use so much pressure before it bypasses but um, I don't know I don't really see a problem using this as a kit to do exactly that it's kind of what it's made for just in a refrigeration world so I'm thinking that if I can get a compressed air source in here maybe I will use my nitrogen because I don't think it needs much air just lots of it and steady um, I think I can make this work with the least amount of mess, if you will, in my garage. And uh, trans cooler loop, oil cooler loop, fuel system loop, and really that should be it. So let me know what you think. If anyone else sees this video and sees something wrong with this or any other way to do this, it beats using transfer pumps and all types of five gallon buckets and all that, but I can just have the water, uh, the solvent expel out of the other end of my loop into a bucket. So, I don't know. Food for thought. Let me know what you think.